and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. And in this video, we're going to service the smart. Right, let's get up in the ramps. So, I've just loosened the oil cap. I always find this quite difficult to undo. And I'm just going to remove the dipstick, like so. And we'll just put that away. Now, the next thing is, is to undo the sump plug. Now in this smart, somebody's added actually added a sump plug to this and uh, it'll make the job a whole lot easier instead of sucking it out um, using like a pump as most smarts have. So for this I think you need a 17mm socket like so and we're going to just going to undo the sump plug. Now I'm not taking any chances with this because the last time that I serviced a car, well, uh, I made a mess of the driveway. So we're just going to start and do the sump plug nice and gently and see what happens. <laughs> I'm probably going to lose the sump plug in the bucket but hey ho, we'll just have to do that and suffer. So here we go. Result. One sump plug out. Right, so all the oil is just still dripping away into the bucket of despair and the driveways still pretty clean we're going to remove the oil filter and we're going to replace it with this um, TJ oil filter um, that I've got off a specialist on eBay so to remove the oil filter cap you need a 27mm socket. So I've just put my 27mm on an extension bar and we're going to take out the oil filter.
we've got to filter out. So I don't know if it's a matter if you pull it or if it's an unscrew. So I've got an o-ring here, but I honestly don't know where it goes in the filter because no o-ring came off it. Oh, hold on. Talking daft, I think I've found it maybe. Or maybe it's not an o-ring, I don't think. No. Yes, yeah, so I've got this o-ring, but I don't know where it goes. And no filter came out of it. So I don't have a clue. No o-ring came out of the filter. So I don't know where it goes. Oh no, tell I there is an o-ring there. So it's now time to take our filter and put it back on back onto the car. Now you don't have to do this very tight. Um, I think they say it's like something like 25 newton meters of torque. It doesn't need to go, you don't need to really tighten it that much. So you would just I think twi and just take your bar that's the only thing wrong with this bar is it's too long to do what I want to do so like so. I usually just take, when I've done it on the rover, I think it was virtually just a couple of turns on the filter. Yeah, 25 newton meters of torque. Right. It's now time to put the sump plug back in. So we'll just give us a wee area to tidy up. Let's give it a mop. Like so. There we go. Just remove the bucket of despair. Admire the mess on my driveway. Gonna get shot. And that's tight. It ain't going anywhere.
So, there we go. That's it in the service book now. So, the car covered, has covered 71,039 miles since uh, 2006. And in Mac Air, it's now covered 2,823. So, that's the service book stamped. I also done the MOT here. And the last time it was serviced was back in 2022. Um, and it's only covered 4,000 miles, so it's just really for my peace of mind, to be quite honest with you, I've serviced it. You can also tell it's been a lockdown service. I mean, 2019, it covered 51,000 miles. Then in June 2020, when uh, the pandemic was going on, it only covered 800 miles and it still serviced it. So it's been well looked after. So from June 2020, they then serviced it again in September 2020. We didn't only just cover just a thousand miles. It's been well serviced and well looked after. Somebody really liked this little car. The only sort of big gap in the service history was between 2012 and 2019. When it was last serviced in June 2012 by um, Mercedes-Benz in Birmingham. And then when it was then serviced in 2019 at uh, 51,000, so nearly done 20,000 miles of out of service. And that was done at Peterborough. So that's the only real big gap in the service history. Apart from, and then from then onwards, it's been serviced again, just with the exception that its last service was in 2022. Um, I would say it's been well cared for. Um, from 2019 onwards, um, I mean, from to it, from when the car was registered, in 2006, it's had its services. Two thousand ten, there. Seven, eight. Yeah. So there we go. That is an oil and filter service done on um, Arnold Smart, the 2006 Smart 4.2 Passion. Um, I'll probably service this probably in springtime next. Um, yeah, I, I want to try and put two, do two services a year on this car. Um, aye, so I'll just I'll do it in the I'll do it in the spring for this next service, and then I'll do it again this sort of time next year as well. But no, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and we'll catch you in a future video. I'm away for a little test drive around the block just to check if things are all okay and I shall catch you in a future video. Farewell. What do I need on my shopping list today?